Guys, so I'm doing a video um, because I want to show you guys that the how the Verizon workers are on strike and they've been on strike for the last about what three weeks so far. And what happens now is that they want a new contract and they want you know new benefits and things like that. But these are Verizon workers that are for customer service, right? You know, they answer the phone. You know, they help the customer. Uh, you know, resolve the bill or you know something going on. You know, with their cable or whatever. But here's the thing, guys. Being that the economy is changing, they really, 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 truly do not need these, uh, uh, you know, Verizon workers now, right? When they can outsource Verizon, you know, they can really, literally outsource all of these people where they can pay someone across seas two, three dollars an hour to answer the questions over the internet. So here goes all of these people. They're on strike. So they customer service reps. So they don't Verizon really don't need the customer service reps, guys, because they can hire someone overseas. They can actually have someone on the internet now. They can even have a Facebook support now for the Verizon workers. So the internet is replacing these people's jobs. Now, is it sad? It's sad for them, right? It's sad for them because they are, you know, haven't learned a new skill in order to earn new money. They're depending on a big time company that literally don't need them anymore. So they've been out here for over three weeks already, guys, and they still haven't gave them a contract. Union, I don't understand. They don't need them. You think Verizon still ain't operating? They still operate. I just hate Verizon. They suck. First of all, they too damn high, and damn, uh, 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 their service actually sucks, truthfully. So they're outside of Verizon. Uh, you know, they're on strike, and it's been for about three weeks so far, guys. See, this is why you need to learn a new skill, guys. I was teaching my team the other day that you need to learn a new skill so you won't be any of these Verizon workers begging for your job or a contract, right? You're on strike right now. You ain't getting paid. You're not getting paid. So all the years that you worked and worked and worked and worked, now you want to change it. They don't need the customer service, guys. They can outsource this and pay someone 2 to $3 an hour. They don't have to pay them sick time. They don't have to give them a contract. They don't have to pay them no 401k. They don't have to do any of that, guys. I'm telling you, the economy is changing, guys. I'm telling you, the internet is everything. The way of life is update Instagram and Facebook now, guys. I mean, come on. You don't need these type of jobs anymore. You don't. It's the truth, guys. It's the truth. It's the truth. Can I have one of your papers? Oh, yeah, here you go. So, why are you guys on strike? No contract. Yeah, this is our customer. Y'all the customer? This is y'all customer service rep? No, I'm technician. Most I mean, of us. some of them are. It's all, it's all Verizon workers. Anybody who's in the union. Not the, um, the, um, the engineers, right? Yeah, the engineers. I mean, the engineers. No, not, not really. really. No, because I, I know some of the engineers work from home. Yeah, unless they manage. Yeah, if they're management, they, they can't go on strike. They're not a part of the So, union. when is this going to be over? Y'all getting paid while y'all doing this? You get nothing. Wow. Gotta, gotta stay wow. the course. Gotta stay strong. If you, if you give up now, it's gonna only get worse. They're supposed to be wow. talking tomorrow, so. Yeah, they're supposed to talk tomorrow. They put a big... Oh, they're gonna talk to y'all? No, no, not us. They're supposed to. Oh, in the meeting, the meeting, the meeting, the meeting, the meeting. Yeah, 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 yeah. the company and. And um, the Secretary of Labor. They all three of them are gonna get together tomorrow to talk about this. Well, hopefully. Huh. We don't want us to collect unemployment. They, they're gonna try to stop that because that's gonna push the unemployment number way up. You got 39,000 people without a job. They don't want In that. Verizon? In Verizon? Yeah, 39, 000, yeah. Thir no, 39, 000. 000 yeah. In Verizon. 39,000. That's a lot of damn people. That's a lot of people. A lot of people not getting paid. Wow. No benefits. That's crazy. No medical. Nothing. None of that? They but you know what? You also got to remember how the economy is changing too. Right? You got to remember that with the, even like with the customer service, I don't know if you guys do customer service, but with the customer service now, you could go online and they hiring people overseas for $2 an hour. 
that's the problem. We're you trying to saying? stop that. We're trying to get them to hire yeah. Americans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you gonna pay somebody two dollars an hour to speak no English? You got Americans right here who will love a job. Yeah. Why hire them? You got yeah. people yeah. right here. It's that's sad. Cool. Yeah. yeah it's not it's cool. sad. It's sad. They Their even kids, got Facebook too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got they even got a Facebook thing now too, where you can like ask questions on for Verizon on Facebook. Yeah. Why in the world they just want anything to cut costs? Cut, yeah. a little, cut a nickel here, cut a nickel there. Yeah. Hey, I, if I can cut that nickel and it means your job, I'll cut that nickel. Well, yeah, well, yeah. it's a business, right? Yeah. You know, imagine if you had a business and you had all these employees you didn't need. I wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wouldn't do I would, would never, I wouldn't cut, I wouldn't cut my nose to spite my face. You know, well, I'm hiring a business. If those people who I hired help me build up my business now, when I'm, when I'm so big, I'm just uh -huh. gonna forget those people, I'm gonna forget about you, you work for me for 20 years. I'm just gonna turn my back on you? That's not gonna work. These corporations <laughs> are crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy. telling you, it is. It's sad. Yeah, I've been, I, it's been sad. in business over 18 years, each of us. I mean, that's a long, long time. That's a lot of your life you gave up. And y'all didn't have contracts the whole time? No, we didn't have contracts since last summer. We had a contract oh, and it okay. expired. Oh, okay. So they negotiated a new one. They decided, well, we're just gonna give y'all this. You gotta take it or leave it. So wow. We said leave it. Yeah. Well, wish y'all the best of luck. Thank you, my Wish y'all the best of luck. All right. You heard what he said, right? You heard what he said, right? So hopefully you guys are understanding, uh, you know, what's going on. So, you know, they've been on strike for 39 days. And it's over 39,000 workers that will now uh, have to collect unemployment if they don't give them a contract. They're on 39 days of strike. They haven't collected any money. They still got to take care of their kids. They still got to eat. Guys, just learn something new. Learn how to build online real estate, guys. I am telling you, learn how, you know, to become a business owner. Learn how to become the Verizon, uh, you know, CEO, where you can hire and lay off and, uh, you know, get people, uh, you know, fired or whatever the case is. Learn a new skill, okay? Learn a new skill. This is what they got. Stand up to corporate greed. Corporate to... <laughs> Believe me, guys, corporate, corporate trying to cut costs any kind of way. They don't give a shit, okay? They don't give a shit about these Verizon workers, okay? They said they've been with Verizon for 18 years. People getting laid off, they've been at their job 25 years. I know one lady, she got laid off at in management. She was a manager in a hospital, and she got laid off at 25 years. They offered her a package. Guys, I'm telling you, guys, wake up. This is like a wake-up call. Okay, wake up, guys. So what if you've been at your job 20 years? They don't give a shit about that, guys. Learn a new skill. Become your own boss. Set your own hours. Will it be easy? Nope. Will it be hard? Yes. But will it be worth for you to be able to make a legacy or have a legacy to be able to hand down to your children, guys? That will be worth everything. Don't be like Verizon. <laughs> don't be like those workers on the corner hoping and praying that the corporation... Uh, you know, gives them a, a deal. <laughs> don't don't do that, guys. You know, take the life by the throat. Uh, you know, take matters into your own hand, guys, and take your finances and your future. You know, seriously, guys. Don't put it in the hands of a corporation that don't give a shit about you. Where they outsourcing your jobs, you making forty thousand a year. They outsourcing your job to pay somebody f freaking uh, 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 four thousand a year. They saving money. They saving money. Right? So if you was a business, all right? What, what, what if you were a business and you had 39,000 employees and now you only need 20 because now you only have a certain amount of money to be able to only pay 20,000 or even 10,000? You going to still pay those rest of the, 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 the employees? No, you're not. Right? You're going to cut them. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> They're going to go find another job. And this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Network marketing Internet marketing, guys, is the way to start to learn a new skill. You don't learn no new skills, guys. You won't make no new money. And that is the God's honest truth, guys. So get with it. Step your game up, guys. Time to learn a new skill. Don't be like the Verizon workers, guys. Go to learnwithtanisha.info, okay? Learnwithtanisha.info, guys. See you on the inside.